Hi ladies. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm going to try and just do a short video here and hopefully you guys can only see the desk because I'm in my jammies. I don't feel like sharing that. I don't think you want it to be shared so we're probably all in agreement on that one. Um, tonight I just want to go through some more ideas for scripture writing. Um, it's a wonderful thing to do. It helps keep you in the Word every day, and it can be as easy or as complicated as you want to make it. But there's so many different choices and different ways to do it. Um, as my friend uh, Shreem McGinnis is always pointing out, it doesn't have to be fancy. It can be just a regular little notebook. It can be um, just paper on a clipboard, whatever you know you have. If you if you have kids or grandkids that have school supplies, still some of them. It's all right. God won't mind. I promise. But I'm going to go through some of the things that I've done just over the years uh, to keep track of stuff. Um, one, let's start with this because this is just kind of, I've had this a very long time. It's not a planner. It is just a little, I don't know what you call it, a little notebook that holds um, index cards. And what I use this for, and you can usually find these any office supply place and sometimes during the back to school season Walmart will have them too but I would just go in and I wasn't very organized with this but I would just write down verses that I liked as they come up through my reading and everything if you want to be organized with it there was a point in time where I had one that was actually a coupon uh, storage folder and so I would have it labeled and you can do it with recipe uh, folders that's another good way to do it but you can label it uh, different categories and then you know write scriptures down that are related to those categories and then when you need a good scripture to encourage you or possibly pray flip it right over to that and it's also a good way to memorize scripture because when you write it down it just seems to stick a little bit better than just reading through it um, that's the good thing about scripture writing it doesn't matter how much you write whether you write one verse or an entire chapter, it matters what you get out of it. If you write an entire chapter, but you did not get anything out of that chapter, no wisdom, no, no strength, nothing, then it's kind of a waste of time. But if you concentrate on just one scripture and let God speak to you and strengthen your spirit through that scripture, that's the point. That is the blessing in all of it. So, as you can see, none of these are really long. Sometimes I even had two, three scriptures on one page, but I would just write them down and then go back through and read them. And this is something you can actually just stick in your uh, purse, carry it with you wherever you're going, at work, lunch box, anything like that would work because it's plastic. So it's not gonna be damaged anyway. And then this one I went through a little bit with you the other night. This is a Happy Notes from the Happy Planner. And I started using this one. Let's see. What's the first date that I have on there? Um, January 12th. This is the first entry I had for this one. And again, see, we just write the verses out. I do the scripture writing with um, uh, Sherry on uh, scripture writing through the year. And also on um, Cherie's channel or Facebook page. And they put out scriptures. And we just write one a day and then try to... You know illustrate it make it pretty I love using washi tape that's one of the best things because it just makes things so cute and then you can draw or trace or stamp or just whatever you want to do it just makes it more fun makes it more creative so we just kept going through and I'm all the time just finding different things that I like to do and different ways that I want to do it I actually copied this from a uh, um, Sherry on the script writing through the year because she does this all the time, and it's just really pretty, and so I stole it from her. Sorry, Jerry. And just keep going. I love some of the stamp books I've recently got that uh, the Happy Planner people put out. They're really, really pretty. Well, that's just my drawing. And sometimes, I used to be an artist, because I was always a sketch artist, and over the years, um, I haven't done it as much, and I have, due to help problems, I have a slight tremor in my hand, so sometimes it's even hard to just write. So on days like that, stickers, they're my best friend. But on days that I can't handle a little bit of drawing, sometimes I'll trace or I'll just look at something and kind of copy it and do my own thing with it. There's just so many different ways and different things you can do. 
and I'm telling you, it just brightens your day. Um, living in Oregon, we get a lot of rain, especially through winter time, a lot of dark days, short days. To be able to have something pretty to come and open up and look forward to, you know, getting in God's Word and then just doing creative fun things, it's really, really helpful. If you're uh, struggling in any way with depression or anxiety, this is a great help because you just calm down while you're doing this and you just, you know, it's just like when you were a kid and you would grab a, get a new coloring book. It was fun. I like that one. That's one of my favorites. Okay, so that again is the Happy Notes from the Happy Planner. You can usually find these on sale for pretty cheap. They're not as expensive as the actual Happy Planner is. And then this is just a little notebook I got from uh, Walmart. The notebook's like maybe $3, and then the paper that goes in it is probably, oh gosh, maybe $2 for a pack. And then I just put little plastic folders. And again, I haven't done as much in this one because I really like the bigger ones more. And I've done a little bit. Like I said, it doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be fun. That's the point. If you're not having fun, then you're doing it wrong. And then this one, I got this from, I think, TJ Maxx. And they always have really pretty journals and things there. And they're very cheap. So this one, I'm not sure how this how much this one was, but it's just a journal. So it's not a plan or anything. So it did not cost much at all. And I just, I put notes in there, um, verses. I haven't done a lot of drawing or anything in this one, but it's just, you know, notes from different Bible studies that I've been doing, but it's just really pretty. And keep in mind, when you're doing things like this, you're leaving a legacy behind for your kids, your grandkids, nieces, nephews, whatever you have. How much would you love to go back and find something like this uh, in your mother's belongings? It would just mean so much to you. And so when I'm doing these things, I just hope that one day my kids and my grandkids will find these things and they'll see how much the Lord meant to their grandma because he means everything and then this one this is really really pretty it's just a notebook and I just bought it because it was pretty you can tell I like flowers if you haven't noticed by now I do I like flowers I like them a lot it's pretty on the inside I got the glitter things and this is good if you have a uh, some months we have a uh, scripture writing that's uh, requires more verses and everything and so uh, that's when you have to use just regular notebook paper or, or larger binder of some kind because you're writing a lot more so my favorite washi tape that's pretty see this is when I was using stencils so that's another thing um, you get stencils as well as stamps and you can use those to make things that was definitely a stencil and this is a little doily paper doily I probably could have done that better but I still like it it's still cute don't ever judge yourself too hard because there's no right way or wrong way to do this. There's no such thing as a perfect drawing. We are all just, you know, God just loves it when we spend this time with him to do this. This is a, actually one of the stamps that I have that I liked a lot. But yeah, stamps again. I did not do too great of a job on those, but there you go. Not all of it is crazy pretty. I live very close to a lot of these uh, lighthouses and I absolutely love them. I love going to visit and they're just so pretty. And you have to kind of experiment with pens as well because some pens will bleed through pages. That's where some pens will not. And especially if you're doing it in your Bible, you don't want anything that's going to bleed through your Bible pages and they are thinner than other things so you want to be very careful one of the best pens you can use if you're actually taking notes or drawing in your um, Bible is this uh, pens right here microns they do not bleed through they are amazing they do not bleed through they are it's expensive they can cost a little bit I think I've got three and I paid eight dollars for the pack of three so if anybody has any suggestions where I can get some that are a little bit cheaper that would be greatly appreciated like I said, I'm not working anymore, so I have to learn how to manage my my funds. This brand here, Artist Loft, this is from um, Michaels. It's their actual brand, their store brand. And I like this a lot, too. It's more like a little marker. 
uh, but it colors pretty, but it will bleed through, so you do have, have to be careful. But I've noticed it doesn't bleed through quite as much as maybe Crayola's markers, where I have some of those two. It actually does pretty good on that one. And these are probably my favorite pens just to write with in general, the Inner Gels, the Pentel. They're really good. Very good color, lots of fun. Here's more of the washi tape I use. You can get washi tape in all different sizes and de uh, designs and everything. Love it. One of my favorite, favorite things. If anyone says, what is washi tape? It is a, actually a Japanese tape. It's very thin. It's paper thin. But what's great about it, and the reason people love it for Bible journaling and scrapbooking and planning is because you can put it down on the page, but you can also take it back up from the page and it doesn't damage the page. So if you don't get it exactly like you want it or you change your mind, you can actually go back and take it up. Otherwise, it's there for as long as you want it. So it's just really really fun and you do want to look for sales because normally they're not cheap like this one like this right here is normally if you go to Michaels it's fourteen ninety nine because it's one of their brands I got it on clearance for three ninety nine so you just have to look for the clearance items when they have them because they will have them but sometimes they even have them in clearance that they've discontinued but yet they don't mark them down so wait for the deals because the deals are worth getting all right that's about all I had for you guys tonight. I was at my Wednesday night ladies Bible study and decided to come in and drop in real quickly. Um, if you have any additional ideas or anything that you'd like to share, drop it in the comments. If you are enjoying these little flip throughs, um, give me a like. And if you would like to subscribe to this channel, I love seeing those numbers go up because I know I have a lot of friends out there and I'm really really excited about this and, and just enjoying it and I hope we can just have some good girl time and good fellowship time during these videos all right guys you have a wonderful night hope you are blessed and have a wonderful day tomorrow thank you